Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's jump right into this. You'll only need two ingredients for this cleanser. The first being the shikikai powder, of course, and water. So shikikai is a traditional medicinal Ayurvedic herb that's used in place of shampoo because of its great ability to cleanse the hair without stripping it. I used about a half a cup of the shikikai powder and one cup of water. That was enough for my length of hair, but if your hair is thicker and longer, you might need more. But if it's shorter and thinner, you might need less. So just tweak it to your liking. So onto the application, you want to make sure that you're covering all of your hair and your scalp with this to get all of the benefits. So shikikai powder is nutrient rich which promotes hair growth, it's high in antioxidants, a couple being vitamins D, A, C, and K that nourish the hair. It's also antibacterial, which is great if you have an inflamed, irritated scalp. If you struggle with dandruff or you have an itchy, dry scalp, it's also antifungal, so it will help you with that. It reduces shedding, which I can totally testify to. It promotes hair growth, it adds shine, and it strengthens the hair at the root, which allows for your hair to grow stronger and thicker. Once it's all applied all over your hair and scalp, just make sure you massage it in real good and just hop in the shower and thoroughly rinse it out. This is what it's looking like after. My hair is shiny, it's moisturized. I've been using it for a couple months now. I don't use it every wash. Like, if my hair is really dirty, then I'm just gonna shampoo it. But this definitely keeps my hair clean in between, like, you know, those intense wash days. You've probably seen some scary videos about this clay mask on YouTube. I saw someone talk about how it got gotten into her eye and she had to go to the emergency room and stuff like that. The only thing I can say about that is you have to make it thicker. Of course you want it to be runny enough so that it can disperse through your hair but you have to make it thick enough so it doesn't dribble everywhere. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Wow. I haven't done this in a while. And when you're rinsing it out, rinsing it out you don't want it to like the water to run down into your face. When I'm rinsing this out of my hair, I'm standing like back like this and letting, you know, it run backwards and not dribble into my eye. It has gotten into my eye before and it definitely burns. It definitely burns, but. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't seen my last video, make sure you check that out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.